Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Lucy and I am here with another new tutorial and in this tutorial I'll show you how to read us a skin with frequency separation technique but we don't use any complicated tool like mixer brush tool that is time consuming and that needs a lot more practices and I am a lazy editor that's why I'll just use the easiest way so let's get started Okay, now this is the picture I'm gonna edit today. Uh, at first, I want to remove the blemishes, so make a copy of a layer by pressing Command and Z or Ctrl and Z. That's good. And I want to use. You can see there is a lots of uh, blemishes, so I want to use the um, pass tool because it will help uh, me to uh, create multiple selection. Just like this. Press and hold Shift, you will see a plus icon right there. That means you can. You have the option uh, to select multiple area just click and release click drag and release to a normal area press command and D to deselect that's done okay select again press and hold shift to select more that's better So I think we did a lot of jobs and I'm tired. <laughs> Look at this. This was the before and this is after. I think I uh, almost covered all the area. If you think uh, you can do better, always you can do better. I am doing it just for fun. Okay. That's fine. Now copy the layer one again by pressing Command and Z or Ctrl and Z. Okay. Uh, let's rename the first one as Dexter. And the layer one as color okay in the frequency separation you need two layers one is for color and one is for texture so in the texture layer we'll preserve the skin texture and any harsh area uh, I don't know what should I say forget it uh, we'll, we will preserve only the texture skin texture in the texture layer and in the color layer we will preserve the skin color uh, highlights shadows uh, and all of these things so here are our two layer texture and color we almost there hide the texture layer now select the color layer and then oops my mouse is not working okay okay go to the filter and then noise and select here dust and scratches right okay okay let's put the radius value one pixels and increase it oh my god it's not looking right it's looked like cartoon i think we don't want cartoon skin so it's uh increase the radius value just gradually i think 11 is looking good but i think 10 is looking good actually it depends on the resolution of your picture okay uh, and remember the value okay so i'm using uh 10 pixels radius radius at 10 pixels so remember it 10 pixels press okay and now active the texture layer then go to the filter sorry then go to the image and then select the apply image okay now okay okay uh, I think layer select here color and blending mode subtract opacity 100% scale 2 and offset 1 to 8 that is the gray color and now look at the picture let's zoom in and look look at the skin texture that we want to preserve in the texture layer so that's it select okay and here since the blending mode 2 my mouse is not working <laughs> okay since the blending mode 2 uh, linear light and nothing is sensed right yes nothing is sensed but hold the breath okay now come into the color layer and select the lasso tool okay uh, by default your feather value will be zero pixels so now make a rough selection like this just just select area and press q and 
let's zoom in and look at the edges of the selection it's really harsh but we want a soft selection press q again uh, press command and d to deselect okay let's increase the feather value here okay let's go with 10 roughly 10 and now make another selection and press q and now look at this it's, it's too much let's zoom out and see i think this is perfect i think it's not too much it's it's perfect so press q again so for this picture feather flow 10 looks just fine but it depends on the resolution of your picture maybe you need to use 20 maybe you need to use 40 when you use a higher resolution camera higher megapixel camera so right now i'm going with 10 pixel feather so keep experimenting and find your z spot not not find your perfect spot find your perfect feather value okay so press command and d to deselect okay now make some selection like this oops don't go near the edges don't go too much near the edges just like this okay that's fine now go to the filter uh, then go to the blur and select the Cushion blur okay I told you to remember the various value that we used that was 10 so I want to use here thrice of 10 that is 30 and now like at this press okay press command and D okay let's make a group of this two layer now select the two layer by pressing command and now press command and Z to make a group and look at the difference this was the before and this is after it's really really good isn't it okay come to the color layer and make a selection another one that's good go to the filter and now you can uh, use a shortcut just uh, control command and F from here and look at this done command and D to D select make another selection like this oops command control F done so that's it it's done look at this this was the before look at this area and this is after you can always decrease the opacity from here and make it more realistic uh, I think 71% uh, is looking fine for this case look at this this was the before and this is after it's looking really really good and it's very easy so that's it i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe